Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, this week we're looking at some progress on my attempt to build uh, Dog Ock by butchering the um, Backman Thomas and Friends uh, narrow gauge model um, to make it more like the prototype. Um, in the last video we looked at I'd got the black the black primer on and fitted um, the lubricators on the front of the foot plate. Um, as you can see we've now gone a bit further um, and I've had the uh, airbrush out um, so I've done the base uh, green coat um, uh, yeah so um, there's a bit of overspray in places I obviously didn't get the masking tape on very well here at all um, so but I, I can I can either spray that or touch it up with a brush um, it's not a problem I mean this thing's gonna be heavily weathered anyway and the black brush is on quite well so that's I'm not too worried about there's a few other bits and pieces that I need to I uh, need to touch up. Um, I've done my best with masking up so to avoid it if I can. So I've done the outside walls of the cab, uh, but managed to keep the the, the roof black. Um, and I masked up so that the inside still is either black or, or mostly needs painting anyway, because the upper half of the cab is ivory on the inside, um, or usually. Um, I had to rub the paint off these the problem is as you start painting it the layers of paint build up and these pins get larger and then they don't fit in the holes in the cast part um, so there's a bit of tidying up to do there um, and yeah I've um, I've sprayed the body now the body is nice and easy here because looking at pictures pretty much the whole thing is 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 body color um, the only thing that isn't is the smoke box chimney and underneath the boiler where on the real thing I think there's more of a gap um, whereas obviously here there's 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 metal. Um, so what I did was I've obviously masked off the inside of the cab area, um, so that's stayed black. And I masked off underneath the boiler. That was nice and easy to mask because I've got a nice straight line. What I didn't do was mask the smoke box because obviously you'd have to get the masking tape all the way around here, and it's difficult around the chimney and everything else. So what I've decided to do is um, I'll give this coat pen I mean it's dry but I'll give it another day or so to fully harden um, and then I'll ma put masking tape around the boiler um, so I can respray the smoke box um, I think that's probably uh, the way to go uh, I'll probably put some tape under here and then you know around and try and avoid getting too much of a too much of a line but I think that's the, that's the easiest way to go so I've, I've not sprayed the the whole front as you can see it's black where I had some tape or where I just didn't aim with the airbrush um, but yeah, I will, I will respray, respray the front um, when when that's all fully dry and I can mask it up again. But it's starting to look um, look pretty good. As I say, there's a lot of um, a lot of the sins for some of the um, the paint will be hidden when I start um, fully weathering it. If you remember when I did the last one of these and um, butchering, making Tally Lynn by butchering the other Thomas and Friends model. The weathering is quite substantial um, so yeah so I've got to as I say this 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 cab doesn't fit properly I've still got to deal with the the layers of paint having built up in the holes um, but I think it's looking starting to look quite good with the, the splashes painted and the, the body painted um, it's beginning to make some some progress now um, as I say once I've dealt with the with dealing with the black on the front uh, touch up a few things on the inside of the cab then we can basically move on to just doing uh, the details and the weathering um, I'll need to um, paint the cylinders as well, which I actually forgot to do when I got the airbrush out because they're in a separate box. Um, so we'll have to do that. But um, yeah, it, it's getting there. Um, so yeah, there's not a huge amount, not a huge amount to say, but I thought I'd show show progress. Uh, we're definitely getting there now. Um, it's one of those things that once you start getting the body colour on um, and everything starts to pull together, um, things will happen quite quickly. Um, <laughs> if I have the time to work on it, they happen quite quickly. Um, so as I say, the, the weathering and stuff goes goes quite quick. It's just, um, if you remember from last time I did this colour body, it's basically slap on a whole bunch of thin down black paint and then wash it off again. Makes it look really, really dirty. Um, and then um, obviously you can go in with, with weathering powders and rust paint and stuff to pick out more details. Uh, but the, the, initial, the initial round of paint and weatherings uh, quite quick. But obviously I've got to get the whole body um, kind of fully assembled before I get to that point because when I do it I need to do it with all the parts and are fully assembled and glued together so that it's consistent across the joins in the in the pieces um, so that definitely means dealing with the, the smoke box paint um, and touching up the foot, the foot plate and stuff before I go any further 
uh, but I'm quite happy it's beginning to it's beginning to look good um, and as I say it will match the model of Talilin I did uh, previously I'm doing the same the same livery so I'm just doing plain plain green um, nothing nothing fancy I know there's lots of um, some great models out there there's um, I think James Hilton I'll try and put a link in the description um, has been doing uh, a commission one on commission recently with a, a lovely um, maroon and black and yellow lining um, and it looks it looks fantastic but I'm going uh, kind of plain simple and mucky um, so for something to match the other one uh, I think it'll work work quite nicely so that's where we are anyway as I say um, again I'm not quite sure um, how soon I'll get to do more on this but hopefully um, it will move along quite quickly to completion now we're not that, actually not that far off really um, as I say most of the details um, have already been dealt with so you know all the pipe work and stuff has to be fitted but it's all already most of it's measured to length and, and the holes are all done and everything so it's just again a case of kind of painting and putting them on there's nothing nothing complicated um, but if you want to make sure you don't miss that uh, when we get to the next episode in this series please don't forget press the subscribe link um, and we will see you in the next video thanks bye